Okay guys, today I did a review on Judith August Cosmetics concealers and I did half of my face with her concealers and then half with nothing and you can really see the difference on how much it covers. If you guys are interested, then keep watching. Today we are doing a full coverage concealer video. So this is the orange concealer and all that. I'm gonna do half my face first and you guys can see the comparison of what it actually does to my skin. So this is a video using all Judith August concealers. These are very, very, very full coverage concealers and it's called Cover or Killer Cover. And this is what it says it's going to do. So it covers birthmarks, vitiligo, bruises, tattoos, scars, age spots, and veins. I got all those except for vitiligo. So hopefully you can see my problem area. Sorry, I do have some leftover um, eyeliner but hopefully you can see my problem areas I do have a lot of problem areas here um, that is just because I do have a pregnancy mask right now and also I did have it before you can have it when you're on birth control it's just a hormonal mask um, so basically it's just it looks like sunspots I do not go in the Sun I know a lot of you're like just stay out of the Sun I don't go in the Sun so this is the orange cover and I'm going to start off with this. Like I said, I'm going to do half my face first and then the other half I'll show you the comparison of my uh, pregnancy mask. So I'm going to do this uh, side first and then I'll show you guys like my vein, my pregnancy mask, all that. I'm going to get started. So I'm taking my spatula and I'm warming the product up on the back of my hand. I'm just scraping a little bit because I don't think I'll need too much because this is really full coverage. So it's called Judith August Cosmetics and this is the orange cover cream. And then use the back of your hand to provide an even application. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Ooh. Yes. Can you guys see that? Okay, I really like this concealer. This is the first, this is like a first impressions too. Um, really, really like this concealer. All right, so there is the darkest orange, and I put that under my eye um, because that's where my most my vein is, and I do have a vein going up, so we'll put that there. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover my uh, pregnancy mask. Uh, if you guys don't know what pregnancy mask is, Google it. Like I said, hormonal mask. I'm going to go ahead and go with the lightest color, and I'm going to mix these two colors. So I use this one under my eye. I'm going to use these two on my pregnancy mask just to lighten it up a little bit. Wow. When this says it's full coverage, it's full coverage. So I put my hair up just because I wanted to get out of my face and one application that literally took the like mask away as you can see on my forehead and I'm only using the smallest amount of product taking it with the spatula and putting it on the back of my hand. I'm going to use the lightest on my nose. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use the concealer on my problem areas on my face. I've been getting hormonal breakouts too. It's not that bad. Just little bumps, red bumps and stuff. So I'm going to use the concealer. Um, this is the Killer Cover Blackout Makeup. So th this is for face and body and it covers the most difficult discolorations for your face and body. And this is the Killer Cover Blackout makeup. So I'm going to use this for my whole face. I'm not going to use foundation. Um, and I'm just mixing some colors to get my perfect match. And I'm using with this, this actually really works if you put it on the back of your hand. And you use the sponge, non-latex sponge. I really like using these sponges. I forgot how much I like these sponges. So I'm going to go ahead and dab it. Dabbing's the best method because it doesn't smear the product, doesn't move the product. After you're done with 
the application, it does say to set it with a translucent powder. So go ahead and set it with a translucent powder once you're done. I really like this stuff. Okay, so I brought you in closer. My pro like my problem spot is like my eye area and like here, look, like really see how much of a difference that is. I want to let you guys know I am 28 years old, so I do have not aging skin, but I have skin problems and I'm pregnant. So remember that. Um, so my ladies, my mamas out there that are pregnant and have some pregnancy masks. I really recommend this product. It is a lightweight concealer that's full coverage. Uh, so yeah, this is the comparison. I feel like it did an amazing job. Okay, so I did my other half of my face. Obviously, I look shiny right now, and it's not shiny. It's just because I haven't set the concealer. You do need to set it with translucent powder. And I'm going to go ahead and set the concealer pat. When you set, pat. So I went ahead and I set the face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up the face, cause I'm gonna use Hula's bronzer and just go at it. So I'm gonna go in with Dandelion and Coralista and tap it on my cheeks. I'm gonna go in with Prosecco Pop, or just a highlighter. Okay, I want to read you the pamphlet real quick just because it it sums up, I have pregnancy brain, so it sums up most of the things that were um, like the benefits of this concealer. So it says, this is a revolutionary waterproof and smudge proof formula that is designed to cover most difficult skin discolorations that traditional concealers cannot touch, such as vitiligo, birthmarks, bruises, scars, tattoos, and port wine stains. There are five colors to choose from from the wheel and blending is often necessary since every part of the body is a different color. So, um, okay, it says killer cover will stay on longer than traditional makeup. It is heat proof, sweat proof, and will stay until it's removed. Awesome. Okay guys, so there is my review on the concealers. Overall, I am enjoying them a lot. They covered so much. And if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. And if you do like reviews on my channel, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I will see you guys later.